the president's call, he called Chef Jose Andres to express that he's heartbroken by his by this news of the airstrike that killed seven aid workers and to express and share his deepest condolences. The president felt it was important to recognize the tremendous contribution World Center Kitchen made has made to the people in Gaza and the people and people around the world. The president conveyed he will make clear to Israel that humanitarian aid workers must be protected. We were outraged to learn of an IDF strike that killed a number of civilian humanitarian workers yesterday from the World Central Kitchen, which has been relentless in working to get food to those who are hungry in Gaza and quite frankly around the world. We send our deepest condolences to their families and loved ones. Uh, we've seen the comments from Prime Minister Netanyahu and from the Israeli Defense Forces uh, about their commitment to conduct an investigation. As we understand it, a preliminary investigation has been completed today and presented to the Army Chief of Staff, and we'll, we'll obviously look to see what they, what they discover in this preliminary one. But we expect a broader investigation to be conducted and to be done so in a swift and comprehensive manner. We hope that those findings will be made public and that there is appropriate accountability held. Why would the U.S not more forcefully set conditions on the use of U.S.-made weaponry when it is being used to target aid workers. First of all, there's an investigation going on. So why don't we let it get done? And why don't we see what they find in terms of the decision-making process that led to this terrible outcome? The Prime Minister and the IDF have noted that it was their error. If you don't like the word mistake, their error. Uh, they're investigating it. Let them do that work and let them see what they come up with, uh, and then we'll go from there.